Hi guys, welcome to today's podcast. This is Set Rock JC. You listen to the Set Rock JC channel, and today in the description we got Twitter, we got iTunes subscription. Get down there now. Of course, I don't know what happened now. I came over all game show, man. So today's topic is going to be about bucket lists. I might mention the happiest day of your life along the way and stuff like that. So bucket lists. For those people, I'm sure everyone knows what a bucket list is, but a bucket list to me is basically stuff you want to do before you either die or you get old, too old to do it. So I've managed to cram in quite a bit. I've done skydives, I've swam with dolphins, I've got married, I've had a child, been to university, what else have I done? Travel quite a bit. I've been on a cruise, you know, I know I'm not in my 60s, but cruising's moving on nowadays, you don't have to be in your 60s to do a cruise, so before you start saying that, what else have I done? I've been to Disney World, I've been to Florida, cool, so now that's a few of the things I've done, so I've got a bit of experience in some bucket list items, so I'm going to go through a few of them and explain my experience of them. So swimming with dolphins, this is at the top of most people's lists. So I mentioned the previous podcast, we went on a cruise to the Caribbean um, and we were lucky enough in one place, one of the first days we got there, to swim with dolphins. Now, I don't know what people picture, I know what I was picturing, I was going to go out into the ocean and they were all going to come over and we were going to bond and stuff and I was going to stroke them and they were going to pull me around like you see in the films and there's nothing like that. You rock up at the gaff, it was out in the middle of nowhere, we had the most scariest bus journey in the world to get there. This bloke, I don't know what he'd been, he must have been watching the Bourne films or something before we took us the day before because it was ridiculous, driving was out of this world in the bloody, in the horror category. So we got to this place, it was in the middle of nowhere. It was basically an outdoor swimming area. There were a couple of lockers there, which was nice of them to supply you with them, so you wouldn't have left your jewels anywhere else. So you go in, so we queued up, we could see the dolphins in this swimming pool, and we basically went in in groups of six, shared the swimming pool with them, I suppose. There was like six of us in the group, and each one of us with the dolphin had swim past, and we got to pat it, the dolphin would jump in the air, and we got to watch, and then at the end he pulled us along, we grabbed hold of his fin and he pulled us along, and it was good fun one of the blokes in our group couldn't even bloody swim gripping onto the side for dear life he was scared to go into the middle so his experience was bobbing with dolphins he wasn't even swimming but we were in and out in about 15 minutes we paid about i can't remember about 100 dollars i think it was or 100 whatever they got in the caribbean i, th- I just it's just all staged it's like, i don't think these dolphins ever seen the open sea i don't think these dolphins knew anything better i think they thought life was that swimming pool for them and i felt sorry for them to be honest what a tedious day tourist after bloody tourist coming you're pulling them around all for a fish so skydiving i haven't done a bungee jump i'd like to do a bungee jump so but i did skydiving so i did a tandem skydive we went up in a little plane we only were there for like the morning went up in the plane i slung myself out and it was good fun i know that's probably the worst description of a skydive you've ever heard but but in reality that's what it consists of you go up in a plane the plane light lasts about 10 minutes you jump out you fall down the free fall is the best bit you'd like it and it feels good you got the air going through your your, your hair and you're not really you got a helmet on but you know what i mean you're falling you're free falling feels good that lasts about a minute and then the bloke pulls the chute and you feel like your flipping insides have been ripped out from you <laughs> it's not that scary but that's what it feels like at the time and then you float down you float down for about i don't know what it was five minutes and then you're down again so what disappointed me with it the most was the fact that I didn't get an adrenaline rush. I was expecting to have a huge rush when I jumped out of the plane, but it just didn't happen. And I think the reason it didn't happen was because A, I was doing a tandem skydive, and B, you have so many parachutes strapped to you, the chance of you actually dying is like minimal. So I think you get an adrenaline rush when you think you're in danger in some way, but I didn't get any of that. I had like four parachutes on. I had a greater chance of dying on that bloody bus trip to the dolphin place but the other week i also had the opportunity to do an an indoor skydive i don't know if you've come across these but it's basically a big jet fan and you get in there and and it holds you up and you go up and down in this 
simulator, I suppose it is, with the fans blowing. And, and I, to be honest with you, if, if someone said to me, which one would you do again? I would, I would probably do the indoor one because it is like 10% of the price. I think I paid like 350 quid to do the outdoor one. Uh, I know it's the real thing, but this indoor one, you can do it for like 30 quid and you get like a couple of minutes of free. The fi It's all free for, obviously. You don't go out there and bloody open a parachute in there. That would be carnage. It's like free falling for a minute at a time. You get two minutes. In between, you have a break, so you get you get to look forward to the second minute, which was good. So I think I'll do the indoor one again, and I would do the outdoor one if they sorted the price out a bit. So I don't know if having a child is part of anyone's bucket list. I think most people want to have a child in life. I think they see that as natural progression. So having a kid is, is probably one of the best experience. I want to do a podcast on having a kid, so I'm just going to sum up the experience of, of the birth and that, really. I think most people say the happiest day of their life is when their kid's born. It was one of the bloody longest days of my life, I'll give you that. It was like went on for hours. So we were in labour for about 24 hours, and it wasn't the happiest. Day. It's, it's the bloody most stressful day, that's what it is. Is. all right the result's good my son was born at like eight o'clock at night we were exhausted by them all I, I just wanted to get home to bed he came out you were, it's a bit emotional i had a tear in my eye to be honest i thought i'd be a lot more emotional because i'm quite an emotional person but when he came out i was just relieved to be honest they were threatening that we might have to have a c-section which has taken so long and we were both in a panic about that we were both stressed about it so when he finally came out we were just relieved happy that he had all the right parts on him he had two arms two legs but he looked like me which was a bonus was it the happiest day of my life looking back on it it was up there it's a very stressful day so traveling i've traveled quite a bit as i've mentioned in the other podcasts before i kick the bucket before i move on to the next whatever it is after life i don't want to go into that now because at the end of the day i'm no bloody expert on it i want to travel a lot more i don't know when i'm going to do it at the minute because obviously we've got the child which kind of stops you from doing some things we did a lot of backpacking and went to america that would be a no-go now we'd have no flipping chance i want to go to places like i want to go back to america again i'd like to go to other parts of canada we'd like to go to like maybe Italy. Italy and places like that we've never really been to Rome so yeah traveling do I enjoy traveling yeah traveling's really good but unfortunately because of our hectic lives I'm sure everyone experiences this you can't travel as much as you want to you only get like four five six weeks holiday a year so if you're going to travel this is my advice do it before you get a career do it straight after uni and do it when you can really do it before you have kids definitely oh yeah quickly before i get off traveling I've, I've been to the grand canyon that was awesome i'd recommend that to anybody and also vegas was amazing as well so getting married let's try and cover this topic is it was it the happiest day of my life it was a good day it was up there again i'd like to think that i haven't had the happiest day of my life yet if i've already had it then why not why bloody carry on because surely that the happiest day of your life it should always be something you're striving to achieve or something that you're always striving to get better i don't want the happiest day of my life when i have my first child or when i get married really i want it i want it to i want to look forward to it and strive towards it for the future and why do they call it the happiest day of your life why is it not the happiest moment of your life or the or the best experience of your life why is it the happiest day of your life that's ridiculous i don't know why they call it that let's call it let's change it now let's do a petition let's call it the happiest moment of your life that's option one or the happiest experience of your life that's option two vote now in the comments section oh when all game show again steady so i'm hoping i haven't had it yet to be honest because if i have then i must have missed it because i've done all these things and i enjoyed doing them at the time but the happiest day of my life it's hard to, i can't put a, i know a lot of people think you should say that getting married having a child and stuff is the happiest day of your life but i don't think that way they were things that i wanted to do and i've done them but would i say they're the happiest days i hope i've got the happiest days to come i'm sure you've all now been inspired to do one of the things i've done because i'm bet i bet you demo i bet you don't want to swim with dolphins now do you no well unless they're, if they're in the sea do it if they're in a swimming pool looking from the side because it would be a lot cheaper to be honest and let me know what your best experiences were let me know what you want to do on your bucket list and let me know what the happiest experience of your life has been so far in the comments section below and don't just forget to subscribe and follow and do all that stuff and all because it all helps this channel progress